right, the first thing I want to do is I want to go over step, and I want to go over step using the puppies with this uh, step over here. So if you'll all kind of gather around, I'm going, to sh I'm going to show you how to do it, and then I want you one at a time doing it while we do retrieves and other activities in the room. So let's start here. What a baby dog. So Christine, you need to work very hard. I, I'm going to need a demo person, so I'm going to explain what to do, and then I'm going to need a demo person to actually do it, and then another demo person to do it so I can correct any errors or anything I forgot to say. It's always the case, right? Who's, who's going to jump up here and demo as soon as I explain it? All right, Molly's going to be my first demo. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to teach basically the, the puppy to, to actually do the command step. And you're going to do it on this little thing. Now, you could stand on it yourself, but I'm not recommending it because it's very narrow. But what, you, what you're going to do is you're going to start by having your puppy get its front feet up here. And, you, and you're luring or you're targeting, depending on what you know you're going to get the best response from. If you can do it with a target, don't lure. If you need a lure, lure. And you're going to get them so that their front feet are there. Now, as soon as their front feet are there, I want you to actually put your hand on their shoulder and lightly press down. Do not press down so they collapse. And you might do that all right now. Get them in a stand. Press down on their shoulder and don't let them collapse. Good. Just say brace and then get them get them to actually feel the pressure. So they're starting to learn the command brace now. And make sure your pressure is over the part of their shoulder that their legs are directly under. So don't, don't go toward the back, go toward right over your shoulder. No, you get your nose out of there. You want to keep your forehead. Shoulder blades might be a better way for me to describe it. Not right behind this. No, no, top. Right where the shoulder blade is. Because they have to, they have to be able to stand there and hold it. And you don't want anything that's on the back or lower. Now, if you can do this, and I'm going to say this right now, if you can do this and you can actually put some pressure on the on the rump area right above the legs, try it, but I'm going to tell you that they collapse much easier on the back than on the front. So if you do it very lightly and very carefully so that you're actually doing shoulder and rump at the same time, but make sure that you at least get the, the shoulder blade really strong. Okay? Saying the command, brace. Are you doing? Brace. And do we have some kind of all the black on this side and all the white except for one black on that side? Yeah, we're the look button. So I would actually want some more of you to move down here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go through steps for step and then Molly's going to do it. So as you come up and you're bringing your puppy up and you're luring or targeting, You've got to say, wait. And then you put your light pressure on their shoulder blade, take it off, and then say, step. And let them step. But you want their front feet here and their back feet here. You don't want them stretching any longer than that. Okay? That means if they're stretching, you need to encourage them to get those back feet here, which means you need to encourage that front part of the body to move a little bit further forward but without jumping onto the next step. Okay? So then you've got to wait and then you say step and you're going to lure them up here and you're going to try to get their front feet here and as soon no. as their front feet here and their back feet are here, pick them up and take them off and no. the next person will try. Molly? Ready? Let's go. So say the command first, so and no do say yes, by the way. No wait on the first one, right? Huh? No wait on the first step. You're going to say wait because you don't want them leaving. Someone who has a disability, if they have a any kind of balance problem, if the dog starts to make a move without them giving the direction, there's a problem. So wait right there and then say step. Okay? And then put a little pressure on the shoulder, just a little bit. 
Take it off. And then step. Step. Good. Beautiful. Okay, a little pressure. Good. Good girl. Nicely there. Oops. Okay. And now go back down and come back because the puppy moved inappropriately. She's not going to let that by. She's, she's not going to complain or criticize the puppy. She's just going to bring the puppy back down and starting over. That's enough for the puppy. Ready? Okay. Step. Yes. Good girl. Way. Girl, Jim, step. Yes, wait. Step. Yes, wait. Beautiful. Well done. Okay, who's next? So that they get the idea. Good. Wonderful. Good. Perfect. Perfect. Well done. Okay, the rest of you, one at a time, I want you to come over and, and do that yourselves. Um, Daniel, are you ready to kind of watch it so you can catch anything that might go on? Um, all right, then let's, over in this area, let's get some retrieves done because we tried Tug, we still did not get Tug. I do want to bring up a point about Tug. Jan. This is the end result of where, we're, where we've been trying to go with tug. Once you get them tugging, then you get them to actually tug open the door. And that's that's the prelude to getting them to tug open a, a real door, okay? We're not getting a tug. I think, yes, uh, with the morning class, we got one puppy who had tug. Okay, do you want to try a tug again and see if you're anywhere near? Sure. Because we're just not getting anywhere. And we need to get to this point. I do. At this, at the age they are now, they are actually ready to tug open a door. Well, we're hey, kind of yeah. tug. Can you tug open a door? Look at how big your ears are. They're huge. And the good news is that means they're not very predatory. After every possibly has a problem. Let's go. Like the problem. Yeah. I mean, he didn't really seem to care about the tug. Kiss her. Kiss her. Tug. He didn't even tug. Kiss her. Kiss her. Kiss her. Tug. Kiss her. Kiss her. Tug. Tug. Kiss her. Kiss her. Tug. Tug. Kiss her. Okay. Kiss her. Tug. Tug. Kiss her. Kiss her. Tug. Kiss her. Tug. Tug. Kiss her. Tug. Kiss her. Anything you think will work. Yeah. And then they get to play with And then you can come back and just trade it off. Alright, wait. Can I try to start it with one of those?
Please around because they're just not getting the success with the dog. Yeah.
you remember the other albums, so turn. Okay, good. All right. Jody. Guess we're done, right? Yes! Oh, great. All right. Who who's got a read now? You've got the read card? Who can actually just show it to the dog without saying a word and getting a sit? Let's see it, Molly. Good. All right. Go ahead. Next. Remember, they have to be kept moving before you show it to them. Oh, good, and a good catch because you were going to almost saw them down. That was perfect. All right, the rest of you, practice. So people take these two cards from them. If you've done three of them, give the card away. Okay, let's look at the next one. I want to see a shake where you don't have to put your hand out. So I want to sit, and then I want the word shake with no hand out whatsoever. Yes, sir. Sit. Just a verbal command. Shake. 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 You don't have to put your hand out if they're really highly trained with the word shake. So they should just like go like this. They should just lift up their leg. Okay, who's got a really good shake? Nobody, nobody had that level. Who's got a shake where you do put your hand out? Okay, let's see it. Okay, that was yes, great. Yes, 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 yeah. You fell over, yes you did. Oh, it's uncoordinated, but that was great. Yeah. You're slipping. No. Okay, Jeff just showed me, accidentally or on purpose, I don't know which, that he got a shake from, from the dog in and down. Everybody put your dog in and down and see if you can get a shake. But before you do that, watch Jeff, because he got it. So keep him on it down and just yes. have a shake. Don't don't move him. Just put your hand out and get a shake. Okay, you see that? Remember the dog shake from a stand, from a sit, and from a down. So he got the down part. Okay, Liz, unless I'm mistaken, you did too. Who else is getting a shake from a down? I did. All right, Rebecca, let's see it. All right, guess her. Down. Down. Good boy. Shake. Yes! Alright, she got it. Anybody else got it? Okay, let's see. You're so cute. You're just so cute. Oh, that's great. Okay, next one is who can get a shake from a stand? Alright, we already have one. Go for it. Shake. Stand. Yes. Can anyone get a speak and now 
normally speaking is a very sick, you do it bit by bit, so you do it behind the, the fence, and then you open the fence slightly, and you have them speak while the fence is open just slightly. Who can get a speak just saying speak on a leash? Christina, let's do it. Speak. 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 It doesn't matter if they're sitting or down in, whatever. Speak. 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 Anybody else? Speak. 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 on the command. Speak. Okay, if you still need to be behind the fence, do it now. Go ahead and put your dogs behind the fence to get your speed. Let's go. 
your feet. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.